Hello friends and welcome to my channel. I have been super busy lately and I haven't been keeping up with my posting schedule but I decided to make a quick unboxing video because if you remember a few weeks ago there was a giveaway at American Duchess Instagram page because they were launching some new shoes and they were celebrating that with a giveaway and I was the lucky winner. I couldn't believe my luck and I won the gift card that was 230 something euros and I knew exactly what I wanted to order because I have been wanting to buy button-up shoes for a long while. The thing is that American Duchess shoes are not very cheap and I have sort of uh, historically adequate shoes that I can get really cheaply, like these. I just picked these up at the flea market. These are uh, lace-up leather shoes and they cost me six euros and they work just fine with Victorian Edwardian outfits. So just putting that much money into shoes didn't feel that sensible, especially because I have a lot of shoes. But with this giveaway, yeah, I was going to buy those Tavistocks. And they arrived while I was traveling up north. And I had to wait until I came back to get them. And here is the box. Now I'll open this with you. Okay, so... Let's see how to open this. this. I'm not that smart. Okay. I'll open the first box. And And there's another box. And an important tool. Uh, Button hook and I got a candy. Hmm. So cool. It says it's mango. Okay. Uh oh, this has come loose. This must be yeah, this says button hook, so this must be cover for the buttoning hook. Okay, this is cute. So let's put this aside and let's open this. Are you ready? Okay, yeah. There are spare buttons and spare keycaps. Uh, here they are. Okay. 
Okay, now I have to try this on. I hope so. This fit. I have already looked at some videos that show how to move the buttons if the buttons are at the wrong place. I wonder if I have to open all of them or if this is enough. Yes, I have to open these two. They're a bit snug, but I don't think they are too small. They are just a bit narrow, but because they are leather, I think they will... Let's see. So I'll put this through here. I'm not sure whether these are a little bit too small. Mm. I think I have to put these both on and keep them on for a while to find out whether these are too small. But in any case, these are really lovely. They have leather sole, so this means that these have to be resold with some or a rubber shawl has to be added here so that I can walk outside with these. But they look really nice and I love the French heels. After wearing these shoes indoors for a couple of hours, I put a big pair of slippers over the shoes to protect the soles. I decided that these shoes weren't actually too small, just a bit narrow. So, the next day I took them to a cobbler to be stretched. At the same time I had rubber soles inserted so that these shoes could work better in wet conditions. And now it's the next week and I have taken my new shoes to a local shoemaker who first stretched these and then added rubber soles to them so that I can wear them in a typical Finnish weather that is probably wet. So um, now I think these actually fit pretty well. My toe when I'm wearing them are, is about here so there isn't that much extra room but uh, walking with them feels pretty normal. The shoe has a different shape than the shoes I normally wear so it feels a little bit different but because this is a leather shoe it will still adjust to my feet and I actually don't think that these are going to hurt my feet that much it's just that these will become more comfortable when I wear them so let's put these on and let's go for a walk and see how these work So it still takes a little bit of practice, but I'm getting the hang of it. Now 
left side is much easier because I can use my right hand. Okay. Here they are. Uh, let's go for a walk. Be walking for 10 minutes and I left the cobblestone path and I'm now on sidewalk and the shoes are okay they don't feel painful and like I said it may be wet <laughs> so I'm very really happy that I have my rubber soles on I sort of like the French heel. It feels very balanced and it gives sort of a rolling motion to your walk. So I'm back in the forest. I've been walking for about 25, perhaps 30 minutes. The trees are not painful. The top part of the shoe is really symmetric, and usually I'm used to more rounded toe shape, that in which there's more room for my big toes. So I have to get used to that. So Sort of my big toy joint feels slightly sort of twisted, but it's not really painful, it's just a bit uncomfortable. And I think that I can get used to that. In any way, this is the more historical shape. But look how beautiful it is. There is a path going that way that leads up to a hill. And there are mushrooms in there soon. Not yet. Soon. Right now it's blueberry season as you can see here. Can you see blueberries? Okay, there you can. I went today. Not with these shoes with my rubber boots on and I pick a little bit, like perhaps two liters of blueberries with my daughter until she got fed up but yeah it was it was nice and I'm going to go and pick some more and here there is this big old spruce forest so this cobblestone road was built by the russian chars to for fortification around helsinki and this is for holding guns around in other places in this forest there are a lot of trenches let me show you one because it's in this forest you are never far away from trenches in fact you have to stay on a path or fall into one the trench starts behind those uh, bushes and this was supposed to be a machine gun post it lacks a roof. I don't know whether it ever had a roof. It might have had some something. <laughs> the 
praise a drum in a lot. Then you can see more of them. Here are more trenches. Uh, I think these are a little bit more finished. At least in some of them you can sort of see see over here. No. But well, some of these you can see sort of a ledge where you can where the soldiers were supposed to put their shoe in order to charge away from the trenches. But like I said, these were never finished. So they don't have all the bells and whistles yet. Okay, this would be easier with shoes with less slippery sole, especially because, as you can see, this tree grows right into the trench, which is about a meter deep, so it's not too deep. But This one has some concrete edges. And if you're going to see something even more exciting, except the tree that seems to want to grow horizontally, there are now we are in the trench. This is a not very deep one. Let's go underneath. These rocks look so cool with all the moss. And here we have bunkers. Let's see if I can have a flashlight on. Probably not because I'm filming. Let's see. Well, there is really nothing super interesting in there. Just some damp rooms. There's one bunker here and another one. Over there and then a third one a little bit further to the east no west now I'm back home and my it's seen quite okay these are good purchase for me I don't know whether the next size would have been better, but I'm doing okay with this size I got. Uh, I don't have any sore spots on my feet, no blisters, nothing. The joint of my big toe is slightly irritated, but I don't think it will be painful after I get these shoes off. These shoes worked for uh, all terrains except the most, you know, uneven ones because these soles are really s smooth. They slide a bit and because of the shape of the toe and this kind of joint discomfort, jumping down from some rocks or some cliffs wasn't so fun. But I think this will work perfectly for events and they're really pretty and yeah, I'm pretty happy. So thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.